To the left, to the left. Right there. Don't take that guy. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Look. This is an eastern down back rattlesnake. Yep, Tony, come right here. Let me show you something here. I'm going to get it out and measure in a second. Look at that. It's probably about a year old. It's not that big. Um, I'm going to actually keep my eye on the face. Look at him starting to rattle his tail. His tail. You always want to keep your safe distance away from him. He's got his cold back and everything. He's starting to cold back, and he has a strike distance of about half of his body. You see that? He's straight to the end of that thing. And there he is. Um, Punky, go get the bucket and the lid. Pony's there here. I'm actually going to pick it up and try to rear it. Um, if you, if you guys, if you see the snake like this, you just want to keep the distance away from it. Because most times people get bit when they go screw around with it. These things don't want anything to do with you. If you see in the yard, trying to just, you know, let it be its own or shoot away. Just, um, get back. So look, he's trying to get away from it right here. See, just pure. Now he's coming back. He's not in a very happy mood right now. He's not that old, as you can tell by the number. I'm going to count his rattlers, too. I'm going to count how many you got. I'm going to try to pick them up right now. So let's see this. It's going to be kind of tricky. I don't want to hurt him, so I'm going to be real careful with him. There you go. Got him. Take my time. Don't try this at home. Don't you dare try this at home. Call me if you have any snake problems around this area. Oh. See? Got the wrong kind of stick anyway. Let my snakes get at home. Yeah, I might not even try to pick this up. Get a good tight hold of your neck, man. Come on, let's get it. I'm gonna really relocate this thing. He's behind his neighborhood. You can see some houses back there. See him? See back there? France. You see him back there? The houses back there, getting away from the kids and the animals and stuff like that. Okay, I got him. I got him right here. He has a must on me yet. He's not that big of a fellow here. But if you look at his pattern, you see those diamonds. How's to do it this way? How about that? You can see his fangs and feel it real carefully here. Make sure my hands are out of the way. Yep. His fangs are covering those little sheath in there. I'm not going to mess with it because I don't have my other stick with me, but let's check out his tail. There's his tail right there. He's got one, two, three, four, and an end button right there. The end piece right there. There's a side reference as far as my fingers. Oh, he is musking. I smell it. I can smell it. He has a thing called cloaca back here, which they release there. They actually give birth, and this is a female. And I, and um, how you tell is a cloaca right there. See that hole? And how you tell if it's a male or female, you count the number of scales from that cloaca back, which I'm not going to do that right now, but there's a certain number per species. And if it's less than that number, then, um, okay, then uh, you know it's a male. And if it's more than that number, it's a female. Um, hey, can bring that uh, tape here. Let's go measure it. Come on. I'm gonna measure it real quick and come on, just hold it up there. Hey, You're okay. Not gonna hurt me. Here, hold it up here. Come on. I put it down here. Put it just lay it down on the ground. That's fine. Yeah, lay it down. Okay, I'll come close to you. It is. Yes, I'm not trying to stretch them out too much. It's about 39 inches. Yeah, about 39 inches. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna relocate this. So you can see these kids out here playing around, dogs. Then I want to kill it. It would be 99 yep. meters. Yeah, that's right. All right, stay amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna put this in the bucket here. Y'all do not try this at home. It's very dangerous. Stick him in his bucket and release him to his new home about 20, 30 miles away. I'll drive out and release it. No, keep it. Into a neighborhood. You wanna oh. keep it as a pet? Oh, that's you. fine. Okay. We'll <laughs> uh -uh. put it in your bedroom. How about that? No, you keep it as All a right. pet. Let's let it go. There you go. Mm -hmm. 